evening, welcome to the show tonight. Come over here, mister. Tonight I'm going to be measuring OB. One thing I've never told people is I'm actually very good at sewing. Hand sewing, of course. I've got a sewing machine, but it needs to be fixed. For some reason, it keeps breaking the thread. What I'll do is, during the week, I'll take it apart and see if I can fix it. It might be just the thread that I've got, it's not that great. But I'm going to make him a bathrobe, which is going to cover him from head to foot. So I'm going to be taking various measurements, and to do the measurements, I'll be using, if I can find it, oh what have I done with it Obi? I'll be using this. So the usual measurements sort of like come here is from the neck to the tail, then round the chest and round the back. But also there's going to be an extra length here is from paw to paw over here over the back. Because these are going to be the legs, he's going to have legs. I want to make him a bathrobe for the simple reason. When I was bathing him a couple of weeks ago, when I got him out of the bath and ended up it soaked the whole flat, particularly the front room, and because I've got carpet, it took days for the for the, the water to dry up. So what I thought, if I can make him a bathrobe, so when I bath him, get as much water off as possible, put his little bathrobe on, it will cover his paws, front and back, and it will soak up the water. So I'll be um I'll be doing that. I'll be doing it by hand, of course, until unless I get the actual machine working. If I can get the sewing machine working, that's perfect. So the first measurement obviously is going to be around the neck. Now when I measure the neck, make sure you can get three fingers underneath the actual measurement. So he's fifteen. He's fifteen round the neck. So I write that down. And um, not on that. Sorry, <laughs> um, where's that thing? Okay, it's your fault. Ah, here we go. Right. Just write all these measurements down. So 15 round the neck. Then after that, I'll give them a good, um, give them a good. Oh, that's not good. Right, neck 15. It's one of these days where things don't work. There we go. Neck. 15. About 15 inches. That's, that's quite thick, I think. He's almost as thick as me around the neck. I don't know if I'm a little bit thicker, but we're nearly the same. Right, stand up. Up. So obviously taking from the, the tip of the neck, between the shoulder blades, down to the base of the tail, which is 21, 21 inches. That's quite long, isn't it? Then obviously taking round this area, because the bathrobe is going to completely cover them. Is give a little bit of go in there, make that 20, 20 round the, the bottom part. And the chest. This is one thing I like about Obi's chest, it's really broad. That's 24. It could be 20, you could get away with 23, but if you add a little bit extra to it, it just means more to soak up. So we'll give that a 24. Can you sit off the pen? Um, chest, 20. Four. Front leg and back leg. So for the front leg and back leg, it's really it's good if it stands up for this, just so I can get a proper measurement. So where I'm taking from the legs, it's just the bottom of the paw. Oops, let me go. You move, which is exactly thirty four back 34 34 inches yeah you're a big boy yeah i hope every 
everybody's okay. I hope you're all had a week, a nice weekend, and I feel really bad about what's happened in is it Sri Lanka. All those people. Yeah, I mean, people shouldn't die for religion. That it's just horrible. Those people are going to have some karma to pay. Right, front is roughly 34, the actual same as the back. I mean, it's maybe a little bit more because he's broad, much broader here than he is down here. So the last part to do is the head. Because what I'm going to do is, when I build it, I'm going to have a little snook here. So it comes over his head, doesn't bro block his breathing obviously. So what I can do is, when I've got a minute, I can really just do that. I mean, I'll have it ready by next week so you can all see. So just a measurement from the tip of the nose, tip of the nose? Yeah, okay, you let me. The top of the head, which is nine inches. There we go. Make sure you all measured up for your bathrobe. So I'll have it finished by next week. Luckily I can sew very fast. There's a story behind sewing. When I was in primary school, all boys did woodwork and metalwork and stuff like that. But my mum taught me how to sew. Because I, I, I just wanted to do things my mum did. So when I was in the primary, I said to the teacher, I want you to do sewing. She said, boys don't do sewing. Boys don't do this, boys don't do that. They do all these horrible metal work, which I can do, I can do metal work and woodwork. But I also enjoy sewing, I find sewing very relaxing. But I ended up, I challenged the teacher and the teacher says I couldn't sew. Well, actually I proved her wrong. I was eight years old and I could embroider, I could crochet. I couldn't knit, that's one thing I've never learned is knitting, but I'd love to do that. So, anyway, Big brush screw. I have had Obi up on the table. I've already took his collar off. Okay, good education. Mm -hmm. He's a boy. <laughs> so, it's been a lovely day today. And I've made good use of the weather. I only found out about Sri Lanka about half an hour ago. Because I don't watch TV, I don't keep talking news but I notice it's all on Twitter. I do do my social media and I, I, I just shocked me, it's really saddened me. I mean this is about rebirth, not death, but some people are just that way inclined aren't they? Idiots. Well it's their karma, karma will get them and people like them. That's what I believe. So anyway, I took the opportunity to do my garden today because um, I asked them to do the garden but they're not going to do it. But they're doing everybody else's and I'd just been thinking about it and I was getting paranoid. And then I realised that this is temporary accommodation. I'm not council house. Other people here are council. A private next to here. <laughs> But the other ones are all council, so I think the reason why they haven't done it is because I'm not a council tenant. So I've had to just start doing my garden, but this time I made sure I got on top of it before it got out of hand, like what happened last year when my sister had to take, get an MP to come up and get these people off my back. So I scared them. So I was doing that today and we were sitting out in the garden and I noticed when I was stroking Obi, he was starting to nod down here, which is usually an indication of fleas or skin irritation. So I checked room, I couldn't see any fleas, but I've got my advocate there, so I put that advocate on just straight away. Because he does, because we'll be getting out a lot more, working with a lot of the homeless, speaking to the homeless. Especially ones with dogs. Those dogs, um, a lot of them don't have fleas treatment. Although the street vet is supposed to give them, but I found that a lot, a few of the homeless don't like the street vets because what they say is that at one and try to take the dog off them. So um, I'm dealing with that. So uh, he's got his advocate on. But I enjoyed doing my garden. What I'm going to do is do a little bit each day. That's the best way to get on top of it. 
I might guard myself some because the plants I've got at the front of the garden is bouncing Betsy, which is a succulent. And that is because these flats are actually prone to um, damp. The succulents will soak up the water. But what I thought I'd do is I'll thin it out a bit and I'll get myself, when I get paid, I'm going to get some um, lavender so I can plant lavender because I love lavender. And also a big thank you to Anita for the card and the money. What I'm going to do with the money in it is I may get myself a strimmer for the back garden because I can't do that slope with, with shears. It would be too much for me. But what I'm also going to do with it is I'm going to get the thinning scissors for him. I've seen a pair in pets at home for, I think they're £20, but they look really, really, really good. But if anybody's got any sort of like tips on what's a really good brand, something that they might use, please let me know. So next week, hopefully, I will have his bath robe, I promise I'll have it ready. And what I'll do is I have to take a little video beforehand. What I want to do is hold it and drop it. So that when I do it and I, it soaks up all the water, you do the drop test to sort of indicate how much water is actually in the actual garment. And I've got an old towel that's completely um, ruined in the sense of um, it's got a big hole in it. So I'm going to be using a lot of um, cut-offs that I've got. I've got this, which I'm going to use, but I'm also, for, for um, Anita, I'm going to do her dog's little jackets as well, the same as Zobie. But if I can get machine working, I can get them done really fast. If not, uh, I'll be doing it by hand. And it will probably take about three or four days to make one, especially with the cutting. But what I'll do is I'll make a I'll make a video of me actually doing the actual cutting and stuff. What is that? Is that make you itchy? Yeah. Is that making you itchy, pitchy? I know it will keep you happy. So, uh, because it's been so warm, and I've been thinning them, the, the jacket, but I know it's, it gets really, really hot. Even today was like, was like summer, a real summer's day. Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. I was actually outside and I was in a t-shirt, would you believe it? I'm always wearing lots of things because I have thin blood. Because of what's happened to my heart. I get cold very easy, but today I just was able to get away with actually being in the t-shirt, which felt really nice. Made me feel like I was on holiday. <laughs> that is one thing I always thought, that having a grooming table would stop him from slipping on the table, but it doesn't, it doesn't work. He still slips, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, can you come over a little bit? You're standing at the other side of the table. Turn around this way for a little while. That's it. Let me do the other side, eh? Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing I do love about when I do bath phobia is it gets so fluffy. And it's great when he's walking because of the to bit to us, look at that bounce. I think I saw it in Forensic's um, video today where the dog was, at, her dog was, um, was going for dad when he was digging the garden. I just love like a big fluffy bounce. Hey, mister. You get a big fluffy bump. Yeah, you yeah. have. Another thing about Tibetan Terriers, they've got that little look about them, haven't they? Like, what are you doing? You bum. Really? Do you want to go on the frame? I can put you on the frame, it would be much easier. Hmm? I 
haven't got his hair clasps yet. I haven't been really in the city that much. I've been mostly in the London Road area, speaking to the, to the people who sort of like stay there, you know, have the, the homeless, proper homeless, not, not the ones that are on drugs. Well, most of them are alcoholics, but let's face it, if you're on the streets, there's nothing much. Can you bring your bum out? That's it. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe just definitely next week also, I'm going to be shaving his belly to get a lot of the hair off because it's very difficult to get to, especially when he, he's so ticklish. And they're not so much stuff this week, is it? Look, getting better. You're getting better. I find this is the most hardest part to keep because it's so thick. I will thin it at some point. But I was thinking of maybe shortening the hair from here downwards, you know, like I did last year, so that the one his skin breathes a lot easier too, he doesn't overheat so quickly, and it gives him the line look, but make sure I keep the men. Years best to use one of these again. Take your time, no rush, and because these spin, these move constantly, which means you don't get any stickiness or anything like that. Always support. skin top. Well, I think this is a bit, a bit wonky, mate. I think if he just even sits in the grass, he gets smart, you know. Despite getting the mats out of your Tibetan terrier, but nothing what a slicker bush can't handle. Hey mate, nothing what a slicker bush can't handle. My favourite toy, isn't it? Yeah, you're my boy. What I'm going to have to do is look at videos about fashioning the ears, about um, different types of cuts for the ears. That's a, a work in progress. Remember, check inside the ears as well, make sure there's nothing nasty. Yeah, that's alright. Can you see this one? Alright, gonna need a bit of work in here, look at that. Eh, look at that. I remember, if it's really bad, what you can use is, um cornstarch. Cornstarch in America, corn flour in the UK. You rub the cornstarch into it, then you just brush it. But again, remember when you're using cornstarch, clean, wash, give them a wash, little flannel. You're being a monkey tonight. Yeah. That's better. That's better, mister. That's it. Shake it all about. There we go. When I help.
have to thin out the jacket so you can actually get this all the way through. <laughs> Pick your bum up. Oh dear, if you're going to misbehave, I will put you on the frame. Are you listening to me? Do you want to go in the frame? Or are you going to use your toes? Up. That's better. For a couple of seconds at least. Remember, when using the slicker brush, be very gentle on it. Don't put much pressure on the actual brush. Just let the brush do its, its work itself. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Alright. Just gently. But next week, I'm definitely going to shave under here. Because I prefer it be either not very short underneath the chest because this is where his heart and stuff is and it's just like a big rug right under there at the moment because of all the hair and it will do him good to be able to have a little bit of fresh air under there a good brush through the measurements I'm looking forward to what this looks like I've got two tools that I'm going to use for the bathrobe which I'll cut up I've got pinking shears I found my pinking shears at last and I will get started probably tomorrow on the actual bathrobe well on the design what I'll do is I'll put up pictures of it as, we, as I go along You can smell your breath. See? You might have to learn to brush your teeth, mister. Ah, that's my boy. There we go. Alright, I won't bother him anymore. He's been good so far. I'll come over and say hello to everyone. And you're going to be a good boy? Yeah. So let me see who's in chat. Hello, Carol. Sippy. I don't know, Andrea. I've tried absolutely everything on it. I've tried them. Um, I've got foam that I could put on top, but even that made them slip. But I will think about that, Andrea. It's a good idea because rubber on top of this will actually maybe stick and have like a tail. I'll, I'll look at it. It's a good idea, Andrea. Thanks. I'll do that. Um, hello, Carol. Hi, Paul. How are you? Happy Easter as well, yeah, happy Easter everyone. Oops, hello. I'm going to get punked here in a second. I'm going to find these little paws coming over and smacking me in a second because he wants more treats. But yeah, I hope you and Nicole had a good time today. I love the pictures, Paul. <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. Oh, hi Danny. How are you? I have to give you a wave. Hi, Danny. Send Corolla my love. And Nicole, we were watching from Easter break in beautiful Hampshire. Oh, nice, nice. Hampshire's lovely. I keep thinking I want to grab my bus pass and just head out to Cornwall for a, maybe four or five days when I get paid. Because I can use the buses. And I love bus travel. <laughs> oh, the reason why my fingers is because the camera's on that bloody side. Hello, Martha. Nice to see you. I'll give you a wee wee. Do, 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 do. Nicole, yeah. Uh, who else is there? Hello, Theo. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Theo was somebody I used to go dancing with tango. <laughs> I'll give you a word to Paul. <laughs> Hi, cool. Nicky. Thanks for joining us. Well, that's it. Anyway, 
I hope you all have a good week. And uh, um, and hope everybody has a lovely um, Easter week. And um, spare a thought for the people. And um, oh, I'm I'm not even going to go on to news anyway. This is supposed to be a happy show, isn't it? It's a happy show. Um, where is it? Here you go. So anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I will see you all again next week. And um, look forward to uh, showing you his bathrobe. I'll be making, I'll make his one first because I'll, I'll use the, oi! You head case, aren't you? You're just greedy for treats. Did you eat your dinner? I bet you didn't. Yeah, so I'll see you all again next week. Um, thanks for tuning in. Next week, I will be sh shaving underneath the chest here so that it allows air to circulate much more freely. I will be continuing to thin out the chest and the shoulders so that it still has the line look, but it doesn't have the bulkiness. Because I noticed that how hot he got today. I ended up having to bring him in because I thought he was actually out there. We were both out there too long. I didn't realise I spent nearly three hours just at the front garden. I wasn't like, continuously for three hours, but I was just doing it bit by bit. But, um, yeah. So I'll see you all again next week. And everybody be safe. Take care. And I'll see you all again soon. Good night, God bless. <laughs> you better say good night. How can you get it? I will get that stuff for his eyes, Nico, I promise. So you can always see his big brown eyes. Up. Uh, I'll see you all next week, gang. You all take care.